Hello and welcome to another video, another speed build video and in this one we are building kind of like a craftsman blue suburban type house. Um, it's very large, very spacious and I would live here in real life. So this is like the longest video I'll have ever uploaded, uh, if I upload it in the right order there anyway. This is the longest voiceover I've done yet. Um, 13 minutes and 50 seconds um so i'm not really sure what i'm going to say for all that time uh, <laughs> but yeah so here we are just doing the exterior um i love roofing which i know a lot of simmers don't actually like because it's the most difficult bit of you know the building process but i love love doing roofs it's the best bit of the house it's a highlight for me um but yeah, as you can see, I was struggling just a little bit with that back corner area. I did want to make it into a garage, uh, but, you know, it just didn't really work out, to be honest. It wouldn't have worked. I mean, you can make garages a lot easier now because of platforms. But platform, platforms weren't out when I built this, unfortunately. This was like, I think it was just before Eco Lifestyle was released, to be honest. When I first started recording my builds, which is why all of them are made around Eco Lifestyle's release. Um, but yeah, he uses Seasons, I know that. He uses Get Together, because there's tile in the kitchen. <laughs> I remember that. Honestly, there was no pack limitations with this, to be honest. Like, a lot of my builds I try and do base game in a couple of packs, so that more people can download them. And like, on my new account, because you can't transfer packs from console, uh, to PC or Mac. Um, I've only got a few packs. I've got Seasons, City Living, Get Famous, Cats and Dogs and a few others. Eco Lifestyle, thank God. And I did buy Dream Home Decorator, which at the time of this video was the most current, well at the time of the voiceover anyway, was the most current, currently released pack. Um, really, really, really nice pack. Honestly, I think it's my favourite game pack, like, I'm sorry Parenthood, but Parenthood's dropped down. To be honest, I don't miss having it that much. Like, I thought I'd miss it so much and I'd have to buy it straight away um, when I switched to Mac. But honestly, I don't even feel the need to buy it. I mean, I kind of miss the kitchen set, but other than that, I don't miss it. Like, it's a decent pack, but we need generation, like Sims 3 generations, but in the Sims 4, because Parenthood... It's not about family gameplay, it's about parenting, it's about, you know, adults. Whereas I want something for children. A more children-like oriented pack. Hopefully if we get generations, fingers crossed for the next expansion after this farming one. Um, we'll get, yeah, it'll hopefully be a generations pack. So, honestly I will buy that on release day. It's very important. Sorry I had to take a quick pause, but I'm back now. Um... So yeah, as I was saying about Generations, it's on my list of packs we need in The Sims 4. And I don't say need about many packs, but this is a pack we need. Like, I feel like it's what everyone wants now, because, like, ever since I can remember, to be honest, um, well, the pack that everyone wanted first was Seasons, or like, no, we wanted a pet pack and that came out, and then it was Seasons and that came out. Then the next on the list of things that people wanted was University, and that's here. Then it was Farming, we've got Farming coming very soon. And now it's just Generations, so hopefully it's getting released this year or next year. And I'm really excited for it. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've done the floor plan most for the most part now. I don't think we really change anything. But this house has got like two living rooms I think, it's got dining, like two dining areas maybe, and a big kitchen with an island, big front and back like porch areas, and then there's like a nice seating area on the back porch, there's the get together tile, I went from get together we use columns as well, get together is another pack I don't miss as much as I thought I would, because I haven't got get together on Mac yet, I had it on console and I used it a lot on console, but it's not a pack I miss, Honestly, I missed having Get Famous more than Get Together, so that's why I bought Get Famous. Um, but Get Together might be one of the next packs I buy. Because I've got, 
I bought Snowy Escape and Get Famous last week. Um, because I really wanted the windows from Snowy Escape so bad. I know that sounds so stupid that I spent like, well, it was £15, it was half price. But yeah, I spent £15 to get windows. I don't even like the pack. Um, and then what other pack did I buy? Yeah, Get Famous. Honestly, I love Get Famous. Unpopular opinion, because a lot of people don't like it. Um, I love it. It's one of my faves. Always has been. I just love the idea of being a celebrity and I love the world. I know a lot of people hate it and yes I wish there was more lots and some smaller lots in like the Mirage Park area which is like the starter area. I don't care about the pinnacles, I don't like my sims living that sort of life. Um, but yeah I just wish there was some more lots. I love the like boulevard area as much as the museum is a hideous build. It's just just such a nice place, like the set dressing for Dalsong Valley is the best in the game. Simple. Period. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is my fav one of my favourite worlds. And then like, build, buy stuff. Those windows and get famous. Amazing. They are so good on British houses as well. It's, it just works. It, and it works well. But here we are doing the backyard. I did a pool. Honestly, if I was going back, I'd probably change like the orientation of that pool to be honest I don't like although actually no it's okay it's not too bad um but yeah so what packs can I see right now I can see seasons and get together and then maybe that's it maybe that's all the packs that you need to download this um but yeah so I have done all the landscaping while I've been talking about generations and whatnot um no, I saw in an, another build YouTube video how the how like people were sizing up the rocks, and I thought it looked quite nice, so I kind of magpied their idea. I stole it, um, and yeah, I started doing that. But it looks quite nice to be honest, and it fills up space because sometimes I struggle with landscaping to fill the space. It can be difficult sometimes, um, and plus on console there is no debug. No wait, no actually. There's bb.show hidden objects, but not bb.show live edit objects. So, you can't get the landscaping. And, yeah, that's why in a lot of my old starter homes I don't have much landscaping, because there was no debug that I could refer to and use. Um, but, like, with some starter homes I've done on Mac, they have a lot of landscaping, and it just looks so much more natural and nicer. I love those paintings, by the way. But yeah, it just looks so much more natural with landscaping, and it just looks so more, so much more finished. So that's very important to me. Um, but we're more than halfway through the video now, so yeah, we're on to the furnishing. Here's that little office. I love this office. It's got such a nice, like, shape with the big window at the back in that little, like, concave. Such a fancy word. <laughs> that concave. Um, and a nice, yeah, nice little desk setup area. I never really furnished with this style of decor anymore, um, but I should start doing it again because it looks quite nice, I really like it. Oh my god, and there's a gym, wow, with an ensuite bathroom, how fancy, how fancy. Um, honestly, I built this house so long ago I just forgot half the stuff that's in it. But I would play in this house, and I don't say that about most of my houses, because I don't really like do gameplay that much. I've started doing it more now though. Um, but yeah, I'll link some of my old builds. Not link them, sorry. I'll put them in a the little like box in the top right of the screen. I don't know what it's called, but I'll, I'll put them up there <laughs> in case you want to watch any more after this is finished. Um, I've got a lot of good builds coming up. Some start homes and apartments. Although whenever I upload apartments, I never really get views to be honest. So, although I love doing apartments, so I'm gonna keep doing them either way. Um. But yeah, those Evergreen Harbour apartments, I just, this, this whole, like, channel is about me loving eco lifestyle, to be honest. I just don't stop going on about it. I think it's an obsession. Um, but yeah, we did a nice little garden area around the side, by the gate, and then there was another path that leads to, uh, the sidewalk. Or the pavement, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yes, we've moved back to the outside now. I always do, like, my builds in strange orders. Like, I do a bit of the outside, some of the inside, then the rest of the outside, then some more of the inside. Then I usually leave it for a week and then finish the inside. I don't like furnishing as much. 
as actually building. The exteriors are just so much more fun. Um, but I have started enjoying interior design a bit more ever since Dream Home Decorator came out, which I have some issues with, but yeah, I I'll have enough time to talk about my issues with the pack now. Build stuff and create a sim are amazing. Gameplay is amazing, but there's bugs, and the bugs are bad. Like, sometimes I'll reveal the finished lot, but then it'll say I haven't revealed it, but it won't give me the option to reveal it, and then there's no way to progress, and I just don't get paid. Another issue with payment is... If I furnish a house or a room, like renovate it, and they don't like it, I don't get paid anything. And I was trying to do like a legacy challenge or a rags to riches type thing, just using Dream Home Decorator. And like I did some fishing. I earned more money from fishing. Because like, I don't know, it's so hard to earn money, but I love it. I love, like I love, I love how um, it's difficult to earn money, but I hate it at the same time, if you know what I mean. Um, It's enjoyable, but... uh annoying as well so either way so it is a good pack and I like it I just think there's some bugs that need to be fixed um and on my this is my complete fault I always forget to take before photos <laughs> so like I'll finish the renovation and be like oh damn I didn't take before pictures and then I basically just have to take be before pictures like in the hallway leading up to the room <laughs> so it's a little bit stupid on my behalf Oh, we've made the kitchen a little bit bigger, as you can see. Yeah, because I wanted a square island. I don't do those in most of my houses. And yeah, some stools on that side. Which aren't actually functional, but... It's about the looks, isn't it? Not the functionality. And I quite like that kitchen. I wouldn't like it in real life, to be honest. Although, I would like it, but I'd change out the counters. It's got a nice size. Like, kitchens in the UK are not that big. But I'd change out the cabinets, to be honest, I think. Because I'm not a big fan of the... I think they're a mahogany colour, aren't they? It's a little bit old-fashioned for my taste, anyway. Although, it still looks nice, just not nice for me. But yeah, here we are. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Raise the foundation, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Did I forget to put stairs back on the patio? I don't know. Well, either way, you can download this from my gallery page, which I leave in the description. It's my own gallery page. The name is embarrassing, I'm not going to say it because I just cringe and die every time I say it. But, yeah, you can download it from there. Um, you have to, as I say this in all of my videos, you'll have to scroll back quite a bit because this was built ages ago. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we're at the end. 13, well, 14 minutes actually didn't go that slow, to be honest. That There were more... It went quicker than I thought it was going to. Um, but, yeah, just adding add some finishing touches in the hallway. I always like to do a little seat and a plant or a lamp or something. I don't know why, but I do. Um, and maybe something in the hallway downstairs? I hope so. Oh, this house has a little pantry as well. I forgot about that. In, like, off the hallway. I think it was a pantry. Or maybe I made it into a water closet. I think I kept it as a pantry. Um, but, yeah, just some finishing touches. Still pots and pans. Um, and changing the living room a little bit, apparently. Oh, there's a playroom as well. Wow. Big house, big house. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, please like and subscribe as well. Bye.